Now, look, we've dealt with energy prices. Now let's deal with food prices. Stu Leonard Jr. is with us, joining us from one of his stores in Norwalk, Connecticut. Stu, you say customer levels are back to normal, but are customers tightening their belts? Exactly, Stuart. They're tightening their belts right now. We're noticing that at the store. People are buying what they need and not what they want. <clears throat> and we're, we're noticing when we put things on sale at the store, it was just a great article in the Wall Street Journal about how most chains are not putting as much on sale every week. We're still putting a lot on sale. And what we're noticing, customers are buying more when we put things on sale right now. And I think we hear a lot of them wanting, how do I freeze it? Okay. So they're buying stuff on sale and freezing it. It's one way to save some money today when you go to the food store. Are you, what products are you seeing with actual price cuts? Not because they're on sale, but because the cost to you has gone down. Well, you're seeing, so, well, first of all, a big biggie is lobsters, right? Uh, I mean, the lobster market was double last year what it is right now. So lobster has dropped in half. We would normally sell a lobster tail, say, you know, four ounce lobster tail at, at $9.99. We were able this year to put it on sale at four five ninety nine. dollars wow. um, And normally you'd sell a thousand a week. When you put them on sale, it goes up to almost 10,000 for the week. Wow. And a lot of that is because China right now is, is on lockdown and they were buying a lot of, believe it or not, uh, lobster from Maine and Canada. And that's dried up, so the U.S. has a little extra supply of lobster right now, which is nice. Okay. So that's one thing. Uh, we've left chopped beef, ground beef at the same price. Mm. Uh, we're seeing the chicken, chicken markets ease a little bit. I talked to our meat buyer. He's seeing overall the meat prices easing a little bit right now. It seems like the supply chain is getting uh, smoothed out a little bit right now. A couple things that are going up, like, for instance, eggs, because that avian flu, sure. uh, it's taken millions of birds off the market. Um, so you're seeing egg prices at a high right now. But uh, you can navigate your way through this inflationary time right now. Okay. Stu, um, I want to tell you a short story. I hope you don't mind. I don't think you will mind. In no. 1972, yeah. 50 years ago, when I first came to America, I landed at JFK in the middle of the night, and I was driven to Westport, Connecticut. The next morning, I got up and I was driving around, and I went to your store, Stu Leonard's, in Norwalk, Connecticut. That was my first ever uh, grocery store supermarket in the United States. And I thought, my goodness me, the streets really are paved with gold, because you've got a great store right there, Stu Leonard. I'll come and see it again soon. Well, I hope you do, and we'll, uh, we'll, I'd love to show you around. It would be great. I'll do it. You're not far away. You yeah. know? Stuart, Thank thanks you. very much for being with us today. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon. Love your show. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, sir. Happy thanks holidays. A lot.